Time factor. Okay. So it's the president is going to leave the Fritham Heaven, Coney Island for Staten Island. They said from last night, it's the six, six o'clock. Uh, we do this uh, on my final class and time factor video, video conference thoughts. Last Tuesday, which is the last, I think it's Thursday. Let's take a look and listen. To, oh, cut through red tape. Cut through red tape. Action this point. Lean forward. Lean forward. Ah, uh, Mr. President, you weren't missing the darn point. Why do you have to always have to lean forward at a time like this? Don't you think it's gone too far? Lean forward. Oh, shut up. Here's a report from Alabama television station. Oh my God, Lord have mercy upon us. Well, oh, so stupid, so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. The funniest. This is not, I'll tell you one thing. This is the funniest thing I ever heard. This you think is funny? Ha ha ha! The laugh is on you. The joke is on you. Huh. The president just said this, and you try to lean for ah, God. This guy is. Mr. President is so delusional. That's why, right, Mr. President, Mr. President, you're so delusional. You try to t cut this red tape on, on time, and you try to lean for. Ah, this is so despicable. It's so worse. It's so idiotic. Why? Any? Why is this Henry Ford, Force Ford, the company did this? Because it didn't take no, no for answers. It saw a different path, and it just. Kept going. It's it is it's cleared a new path, a path of new innovation. It was self reliance. That's that's why you succeed in life. Everything's too big to fail, as you can't you can't build that on your own. The government will do it for you. And what happens next is trouble. Well, you can't ask a neighbor for help. You can't do that. You got no, 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 wait, we need new workers. Wait for the government. Wait for the someone else. I don't want to be a part of this. That's not the country I was born in. I want to be a part of that country. If I wanted that, I want to live someplace else. I go live in England was supposed to be destroyed. That's not the that country, that's not who we are. But there no transformation. Look at this. Do we do it? There's no difference between what's happening in Manhattan and Staten Island in New Jersey than what happens in Benghazi. America is a shot for help. And I don't think so. Wait, 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 hold just a second. We just politics if we can take care of. We got this to take care of. You can't stay no stop saying, oh, no, no. It might get into trouble with the right ride, with the right guys. What is going to happen if we don't have the information? Send them in! Send them in! That's what America is due. Get with the bikes and they get on the same problems. And they go with the drugs and say, Bill, come on, let's go. They get in the truck and drive it across the country. And you're only expected to take care of it. Exactly what happened in Benghazi. Was it says, no, 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 no. No, 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 Forget this. This is go. Then we went. They both died for the cause of it. We used to hold those people up. Just in 9 11, in love of God, we would look at people that the catering that would say, Thank God, look at these heroes. We look at the people who were the Navy Seals in Benghazi, we didn't hold them up and say, Thank God, look at those guys. And now what? We forget them. And like I said, this is what happens. The whole thing might come down to us. 
to us. Here's what comes down down to this, Mr. President. You done this done this whole stupid damage again. <sighs> Vote on Tuesday. <laughs> I got. I, I have a solution. Isn't my. Uh, I'll be back. Time out. He might think it's so smart about voting. Here's your worst nightmare. Now, where do I put this? <sighs> what did I put this? Oh, God. I left it at home. Left it at home. Trust me. Oh, here it is. This, this is you, President Mama. You try to try to tell us to vote. Vote on what? Vote on what? Four more whole years? What kind of stupid idiotic is this? It's kind of crappy. Ugh. So idiotic. Crap. Ugh. This makes me sick to my darn stomach and I couldn't even eat. I had to, I had to bring this to you, but Tuesday is Judgment Day. That's right, it's Judgment Day. And I don't like that. Uh, judgment Day. Aaron, you might think it's being switched up, haven't you? Well, let me tell you something else. It can happen to all of us. Now, I'll tell you right now. All the Obama deities just come in, offer money, hot crusty, since this is awful, and take the helicopter ride, divert all those resources in the way. By the way, this is another sad thing. Guess where our state troopers are? Guess where our policemen of Long Island are? Have a at gas stations where people are killing each other. At gas stations. You're ridiculous. Unbelievable. You know what? I will tell you something. You see this all, all weekend long. And I'll explain this on my Time Factor television show with musical guest Cheryl Lloyd. And so is Brett Bazell and, and others. We'll analyze this before election day starts. And it makes me and it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad that that everyone wants to cut the red tape in small pieces and lean forward on purpose? Ugh. Gold Spring Harbor, you got a gold station here so the gas station ran out. That's what goes this morning. One more point island. So it was, because everyone is driving in, get gas for their cars and driving, going on vacations and all that. Uh, all that going out of town, going out tonight, whatever it is. I don't. I don't have a car. I don't have gas. My dad has gas. He has a car. And he puts a bumper sticker on Obama Biden on purpose. Are you crazy? Are you out of your darn mind? And this is what we have become. This is what we have, what we have become. Obama's now holding 20%. The income spent between the line, long term rates rise to what? 40.6%. Unemployment? Uh, I know that demographic of the uh, presence was with the great of the African community. It's 14.3%. It's twice the natural average almost. Oh, jeez. We have, we have a marathon in New York this weekend. Uh, what marathon? Running a marathon with no good for nothing, Michael Doomberg. On purpose, and look what happened. It, it, it was this. I want to run the race. I want. I will run the race. I gonna ride the win. Uh, uh, you creep. No. Uh, yeah. Oh God. You know. You have a coke. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Uh, And all you think about is bare, all you think about is running in New York City without lights or anyone can be civilized. You gotta be ashamed of yourself, Michael Doomberg. You 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 really are. All you, all you think about is talking about banning sugar sugary drinks with a small cup. <laughs> You're so dumb. Oh God. Go ahead, you're on air. I mean, she was like, mm -hmm. <sighs> what 
guess what? The president of Lai at that time promised a big check. That's, listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. This is a classic moment for people to learn something. You know, we have FortInsurance.com as a sponsor. And I'm, every, I'm to two whole years of this program. And when I say I have food insurance, I have food insurance. When I say I have water, and people are going over in my house, why do all this water and spring water in the garage? Just in case, whatever. You know, I have a, let's just say security. I have a, a generator. I'm not saying this. I'm in a generator of powers for this thing with the okay? What I'm having this debate, it always goes down to this. It's unbelievable. But the answer here is there are so many people that can hear the desperation. They actually think the government's gonna help all the time. The government has a role in something you can help. It was somewhat efficient. But I can't stand it. Politicians in the photo office of the government here. Give a virtual token. Praise the gentleman. We just have the press conference. Click. I'm gonna make some solo so I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it anymore. They're all dumb. No, no, we wouldn't have food. No, no, heat, that gas without without any security. Because where's all the security? They need the gas stations. People don't need each other. I cut in line with what somebody can get. I never go on. I mean, it has a huge headache. For anyone who can be civilized, and I don't like that at all. Uh. Oh God. Hey listen, it's been four days here. How about this? How about come in and lift some food? So and we get distribution into centers all over the state in New Jersey and the state of New York. How about they cancel that stupid marathon in New York and take those generators? and bring them over to neighborhoods where people can go and, and get leased, consolidate the heated areas so people can have it, but power all over their people's homes and then a lot of water. There seems to be that they got generators that they can literally power 400 homes and we use them for a stupid marathon. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. This is being paranoid right now, and rightly so. I pick up the paper this morning. I see these generators they're there for the marathon. And they find out what his those generators that actually provide heat, electricity for 400 homes. I'm gonna tell you some one thing. That's right. That's right. Hey. Couple of neighborhoods with generation. Then, if you get the generator at Central Park for Marathon, there was so many, but the other generators that exist that there in the world. And on the top of it, then, is the other dad, Alabama workers that are professionals that come and help and is thrown out of town. It's a not to be thinking, how do you like me now, Mr. Pilberg? How do you like me now, President Obama? You might think you're so sorry about it. You're cutting, cutting out this red tape. You cut it on this red tape and you, you want to lean forward and then you were on the marathon on purpose? Give me a break. This is so dumb. Oh, God. Anyway, so, so, thanks for the phone call. I don't know who you are, but... Uh, so ridiculous. Anyways. Here's some trust me nuts. But anyways. Anyway.